Hey, this is Greg over at DIY RV and Home. Uh, just recently helped uh, diagnose a uh, bad receptacle for a friend in her RV travel trailer. And uh, thought I'd do a little autopsy on the um, outlet. These are uh, the outlets that uh, generally come in RVs. They're self-contained. There is no external box that is in the wall that it goes into. So let me pop this thing open and show you what it looks like on the inside. To do that, there's some tabs on the side that you just press in to release the back, pull it open. Now the way these are manufactured, or the way these are designed, is that you actually just press the wire in to the box, and that's what makes the connection. Now it's simple of installation, you know, speed and everything like that, problem is is that it does not give that good of a contact area uh, from the wire to the actual outlet so any heavy loads that are put on it is actually a stress I'm gonna go ahead and pop these wires out show you actually how much contact area there is and then I'm going to show you um, a residential outlet and give you an idea how much more contact there is and they're both rated at 15 amps um, 120 volt There we go You see this was in line this was this was actually feeding another outlet So you had the power coming in from the breaker box out and then it fed to another outlet in line if there was just one line on it that'd be an external one or at the end of the line so that's here's a close-up kind of view of what they look like okay now what I'm gonna do is show you what a nice one looks like you can see the contacts are clean no discoloration throughout or anywhere Okay, now on this one, you'll actually see some basically tarnishing of the metal of the contacts. And generally what that shows is uh, basically age, but also excessive loads placed on it. And there it is there. Let's see if I can get you a nice close-up. Right there is all the contact that was made on that wire. Just that little cut right there. So over time, if you put anything that draws a heavy load, a, a small space heater, a crock pot, or anything like that, the bolt, the amps drawn through it are going to, uh, and the resistance from this, from your wires to your uh, box, are actually going to heat up. And over time, it'll cause it to fail. Now, here's a residential outlet with screw on terminals. Some of them do have where you can press it in the back. I don't use those, I don't like those. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect, and you'll see how much actual more wire is actually in contact with. the outlet all right so you actually have a larger contact area reducing the resistance from the wire to the outlet that is the major difference between uh, RV outlet versus a residential outlet. Now I've taken the liberty to go ahead and slice one to even give you a, a closer look of the internal components of the RV. I'm not doing it to this one. I'm actually going to be 
to my uh, residential one. I'm going to be putting that one in to an outlet that I need to replace in the house. So we'll go with the first right through the center. As you can see, it's just a single blade. And that wire is just pressed down onto it. See if we can't get this one to make contact real quick. All right. So now that is the extent of your contact for your wire, and that is on your ground. Now on the hot and the common, they add one extra. point of contact for that wire so what we're going to do is we're going to split this one Come on. boom okay and as I was splitting this one to show the example I actually had part fall off so it actually broke was ready to break or did break already right there so that is the big difference between residential and the RV outlets now the RV outlets are designed for sh uh, shallow walls most trailers are about an inch and a half um, if you have a tra travel trailer that you can uh, if you have enough space you can actually put a residential outlet in but when you do that you're going to have to put a box in now they do have uh, a couple styles of shallow boxes uh, one of them is just a real shallow I don't have an example of that one uh, but it's just a regular square box just about three quarters of an inch thick or deep or about an inch that you recess in and run the wires this particular one right here that I picked up is a shallow wall inch and a half and what it does is it actually rotates into the wall you run your wires through make a connection that's a simple way to change out your uh, RV outlet to a residential Hope this video helped you out, gave you a little bit more insight on uh, the design and the failure points of RV uh, outlets. Make sure to share, subscribe, and like. See you on the next video.